you. Looked to me uh, like he was flying towards Japan. Hey, bro. What's up, dude? I'm back at the Tortuga. And look who followed me home. Aww. We'll be right there. Wow, bro, you found a red panda? Well, I didn't really find her. She found me, and then she followed me home. Are you sure that's a red panda? Yeah, it's a lot smaller than a panda. Looks more like a raccoon. Or a fox. Or a weasel. Or a cat. So, what family of animals is a red panda most closely related to? Wait, 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 I think I know this. Huh? I got it. Ahem. <clears throat> well, aren't you gonna tell us? Nope. <laughs> you have to guess. It'll be more fun that way. Hmm. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going with bear. Just a small bear. I'll say the red panda is most closely related to the giant panda because they both have panda in the name. Nope, that's a trick. Giant pandas are in the bear family. This girl is not a bear. Oh, I know. Fox. She's reddish orange like a fox. And her face is kind of dog-like. <laughs> Our red panda disagrees. She is not in the dog family. Step aside, Jimmy. I'm going with Weasel, a member of the Mustelid family. Red Panda totally fits in with a Pine Martin, a Badger, and a Ferret. Oh, nice try. There is a lot of variation in the Mustelid family, from Weasels to Wolverines to Pine Martins to Otters, but the Red Panda doesn't belong there. What about Raccoons? And Kinkajous? And Coatis? Aha! Yes, I win! Victory! A little too quick on the celebrations, bro. Scientists used to think the red pandas belonged to this family, but not anymore. Aw, well, what is she then? Yeah, who's the red panda most closely related to? Yeah, who? Okay, I'll show you. A red panda? Yes, a red panda is in its very own family. It's in the family Alluridae. It has its own special family made up of just one species, the red panda. Wow! Oh, awesome! Yeah, it's a unique species in its own family. And red pandas are not only special, they are rare. Only 10,000 survive in the wild. There's not much a bear likes better than a good berry patch. They can eat thousands of berries in one sitting. Well, it's like they're going from one buffet table to the next. Yup, and if it's not a berry patch, it's a tree full of beech nuts or acorns. Black bears are great climbers, not only to get food, but to get away from wolves and grizzly bears, too. Huh? Chris, Martin, look! A white bear! Huh? What? Where? I saw a white bear right there! White bear? Of evil look. There are no polar bears this far south. Yeah, see, there are three kinds of bears in North America. The black bear, the most common and smallest of the three. The brown bear, or grizzly, is a larger bear that likes open spaces. And the polar bear, a huge seal hunting specialist of the Arctic. And they don't live down here, so you couldn't have seen a white bear. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's a really lost polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw it. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to add climbing features like sharp claws and foot pads to the black bear <laughs> power suit. And when I'm finished, I might not let you guys use it. <laughs> Please? What's she doing now? Catching salmon, that's what. <sighs> and it's a big one. We gotta get in there and try to catch fish 
bear style. Uh, guys, you might have better luck if you had bear powers, don't you think? Oh, yeah! Awesome! Wait, touching a bear? How are we gonna do that? Uh, Chris? <laughs> we already are. He's on our feet. Activate, Activate black, black bear, bear power! power. Whoa! I feel so big! So powerful! Yeah! These paws are massive! Whew, I can't wait to get in there and catch some fish! Woo! Okay, Bellyful, we'll teach you how it's done. Hey, Chris, I got one! Hey! <laughs> nice try, bro. You've got the features, but you gotta work on the technique. Watch this! <laughs> Go! Ah, oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you need a little practice too, Chris. Hey, lost and found. Can you lose your mom again? <laughs> okay, all good with the red pandas. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, a giant panda surprise. Stuffo, you going for a ride? <laughs> you know, China really is a colorful place with lots of cool patterns. We know what the golden pheasant's color is all about. But what about the giant panda? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Didn't see that coming. Come on, Martin. Quit fooling around. We got to figure out why a panda has this pattern. It is very distinctive. Mm. So, you were saying, bro? Well, I will say that pandas are very powerful. Hey, I see what's going on. Yeah, so do I. Two pandas walking in the forest. Yeah, but they are following the pattern. That panda pattern is so easy to spot in this green forest. The baby panda follows the black and white panda pattern. That must be it. Oh. The face patterns, the blonde and rust color, it's so distinctive. I think the reason for their color is species recognition. They can see each other as red pandas because of that distinctive face pattern. That must be... Uh, ah! <laughs> blue goggle! <laughs> Talk about colorful! <laughs> I love these blue faces. Hey, but while we're asking the question, why are golden snub-nosed monkeys so colorful? Well, there's one reason. The most colorful of all the troops is the alpha male golden snub-nosed monkey, the leader of the group. Hard not to notice him. Whoa, great one! <laughs> hey, I knew that was funny. <laughs> but not that funny. No, not that! <laughs> Something <laughs> in my shirt! <laughs> Tickling! <laughs> A Chinese leopard gecko! <laughs> wow, look at the purple colors in the pattern. Cool! Strikingly beautiful here, 